Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Elder Kings 2, where once again we are playing as Emperor Humilio Tharn of Cyrodiil. Between the last episode and right now, I've been doing a little bit of detective work. See, there's a mystery that I've been meaning to solve ever since we conquered the Imperial Isle. Specifically, the mystery of the Ruby Throne. I had wondered for a long time where it went, and whether someone might have stolen it, or whether it might have been destroyed or distinguished when the potentate fell, but I have now found out where it went. The main has it. Apparently what happened was that the Queen of the Rim inherited or was given the Ruby Throne uh, upon my conquest of the Imperial Isle, and then, and then the Main conquered the Kingdom of the Rim and claimed it for themselves. Well, obviously I can't allow this, but unfortunately, I, despite being Emperor of Cyrodiil, do not have an artifact claim on this throne. So, the only way I can do this is either by looting it, which I can't do yet. I would need to switch my fo my uh, lifestyle focus to Marshall, which I uh, I can't do for about four years. Or I can hope that in another war I might be able to capture it when I siege down their capital. Thankfully, elsewhere already has some lands that they that I want. They hold de jure lands in Cyrodiil. So the Ruby Throne makes for a very good excuse, I think, to go to war with, for these lands. They have a sizable army, very comparable to mine, but they don't have my war chest, and they don't, uh, they don't have as good a friend as I have in Whiterun. So, I'm going to declare this war. Siege all my de jure lands, and hopefully... I can get lucky in terms of RNG. So let's uh, let's see if this works out then. So I will raise my armies here, as well as the Knights of Stendar, and call in my ally. Now, as we can see here, our army size is very comparable. I might want to try and uh, meet them in battle first, or I could uh, risk it and go for the siege down. But I think I will land directly in Torval. Is what I will do. And then head back to the head back to this uh, Skingrad area for our uh, to meet them in battle directly. I may need to charge. Uh, I may need to uh, replenish my forces when I do this, since I'm going to lose some to attrition. I want to make sure I can. Uh, I want to do this now while I'm certain that I can do it. Okay, where's the rest of the army? Where did it go? Where did the... Okay, there we go. Well, I've taken a fox artifact. It's not quite what I wanted. Like I said, I'm probably going to need to become a raider in order for that to happen. Again, not the artifact that I wanted, but it's one we can hang up. Everyone seems to want to play chess with me now. Oh boy, I hope my ally is careful and doesn't just slam himself into the enemy, uh, to the enemy force. 
Oh, it looks like that is exactly what my ally did. Splendid. Splendid. Just when I needed them, they're dead. So let's attack them right here and hope that our own troops are enough. Since our allies proved to be of no help. Thankfully, they were committed piecemeal. So let's unseige what they have sieged and then, um, then uh, make some sieges of our own within the uh, necessary territory. Let's drive them out of Black Boot before we retake it. And now, let's retake it. Well, we have a personal artifact now as well. No reason not to eat. No reason not to equip it. Okay. Now let's defeat this half of the army and uh, get re get the siege done. Get the sieging done. Well, it seems the Fear family has found another castle to live in elsewhere in Telvanni territory. It was nice to have them at court uh, while, it, while it lasted, but of course, uh, they do need their own tower. Irritatingly, we now find ourselves facing and facing another peasants' revolt. I think I should be able to just hire some mercenaries to take care of it. I think each individual force here will be able to be handled by them. And properly siege this stuff, since it is part of our war goals. So that's pretty much all the du jour territory. We're probably going to need more. Hopefully we can do this without losing too many troops, so we can keep down the Liberty faction, but... You know, when we're up against a formidable foe like elsewhere, we might need to do some maneuvering, you know? Probably wasn't so smart of me to stop having kids, considering making alliances is something you always need to do. And the peasant leader just died in battle, so that ended the uprising altogether. So I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to start to advance and occupy moving westward here in these... Uh, the vague borderlands, the hazily defined border between Anakina and Pelatine. Another peasant rule. Sure. Why not?
Ah, we have an adventure inspiration from our court poet. She wants to go to Valenwood and hopefully we'll find a nice artifact for our court. I'll give her the money for that. Okay, and our, uh, our knight Drell, the coat or court court poet, has found ourselves a Seishi Mace, which will uh, boost our prowess and our number of knights. It's not a unique artifact, but it is an incredibly valuable one and one that I will equip immediately. I didn't know the Seishi were in the habit of using maces. But we've finally sieged down enough territory to claim a land that's ours. Even if we did not necessarily get everything we wanted, since the main thing we wanted was, after all, the ruby throne, but we know where it is, and we know how to claim it. And I can assure you that we will. First things first, though, we're going to deal with this rebellion. I'm going to do it off screen, though. Well, we seem to have an active Liberty faction now. I'm not going to give in to their demands. No matter how large their armies may be. This one is going to need every ally we have, though. So we're going to call all three of them. In the meantime, the Queen of the South Weald is trying to claim independence. Well, you know what I've got to say about that. I'm not going to accept the demands of the independence uh, faction either, which Thankfully, it consists of Southweald and nobody else. And we've got populace to deal with. This was a costly war that I don't... Uh, yeah, this war with elsewhere was a costly war. I'm not sure it was worth it since it weakened us to such an extent that it made these wars possible. In the meantime, I'm, I'd like to siege down just enough of the uh, of the rebels land for a white piece since I would like to get uh, get back to uh, the whole being peaceful thing it was it would probably work out pretty well for us considering uh, considering we have an offensive war malice that's uh, the size of like the entirety of Cyrodiil It seems that, um, that murdering the instigator did not end the independence war. Well, there's the peasant uprising dealt with. I will execute the leader. Oh no, now our army is unsupported because our allies went to help us there instead of where we were sieging down. Splendid. Simply splendid. Yes, uh, these are uh, absolutely not worth going to this uh, going to war here. Bandits as well. I'm playing. I'm playing whack-a-mole here, basically. Have to 
to hit them hard right here. Peace for the Liberty War. And we can now head down to Southweald and take on take them on. I'm gonna siege these three down and hopefully we can build up our strength. We can build up our strength to uh, take them on more direct, take their army on directly, and then when we have the score, peace out of that war, and then finally defeat the bandits, and hopefully the game of whack a mole is going to be over by then. So now they're running off. Okay. I think we're going to be victorious in this battle, which is huge. So we are effectively beginning to unseage our own land back, and then after that, after that, we will siege their land appropriately. Now we can siege down the Southfield capital, and then this war will end. Whether it's with a white piece or a total victory, I don't care, as long as it ends. One final victory, and now it is simply a matter of siege and occupation. Taken and, and we we captured the rebelling queen. Very good. Which leaves only the bandits. And I won't ransom anybody yet, and just in case, uh, just in case this banditry is. Uh, just in case some of these bandits are in my prisons, I don't want to lose war score by giving up on them. I'll get them with these mercenaries. Since they just seem to be in the Arcanor. There we go, and we're going to execute this bandit as well. And there we have it, after endless trouble brought about by a war that cost more than it's worth, we are finally at peace once more. And we're going to have to be for a while, as we're going to need to re both rebuild our army and reduce our offensive war malice. But, on the bright side, we do know, we do now know, that somebody has something that we want and we know who that somebody is, and we're going to spend however many videos it takes to get back the Ruby Throne. But that is going to have to wait for the future. Until next video, I have been Maricotti, 
you have been you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.